All right, so we've created our restore mode. Um, we need to change the look of this button um, and actually make it function differently. So first for the look, go to log and scroll down here and instead of button danger, the info, let's see what that looks like. I know that's one of them. Yeah, that's not bad. So that's the restore. But now we need to write something for what happens when you click restore. And uh, so we need a case and we'll just call this status. We'll just copy the remove case and paste, we'll paste a copy and then change this to status, change it to one and save that. Now we need to do our JavaScript for this. So, and uh, let's see, let's just copy, remove change this one to activate task, sorry, restore task, and change the button to restore, and we just need to change the mode to status. Now for the build, in this case, the build needs to be restore, because we're reloading the restore um, mode. Save that. Pop over to our page. Okay, so if I click this, let's cross our finger. Okay, let's see what happened there. Go ahead and refresh. There we go. It's because I didn't refresh. So we go back to live mode. All right, so one thing we haven't tackled yet, um, which you would have found out eventually, is that we have our live reload going. Um, however, if we're in restore mode, this is going to run our 30-second uh, our loop and toss us back into live mode. So we need to adjust our script up here. So when we do our set interval, we need to get the mode, the current mode. So our mode equals button mode dot data mode. If mode is equal to restore. So this is the mode of the button, not the mode we're in. So we're going to activate the opposite. So it would be this build here. So we can just drag this in here. Else. Copy this, build, restore. All right, cool.